Hello, my name is Ronnie Samour, and I'm a consultant here with SmartBridge demoing the mobile approvals app for you guys today. Now, anybody that's ever had to approve a purchase order knows that it's quite a lengthy process. It takes some time, you can't really do it on the go, and you're not notified in real time whenever you do get a purchase order that's awaiting your review. To address those points, we've created the mobile approvals app. With this app, First thing is, you'd get a push notification telling you that you have an order awaiting your review. Once I click on that notification, I'd be navigated right here to the login page, where instead of having to type in my credentials, I'm able to simply just fingerprint in, and it'll go ahead and grab all of my purchase orders that are awaiting my review. Once everything's been loaded up, you can see that everything is right here on the page where I need it. All of my purchase orders awaiting review are here on the left, and you've got some more extra details here on the right. Suppose I have an order that I want to search for that I already know the order number for. And once I've tapped on that, it'll load some extra details similar to what you had for the order that we were just highlighted on or selected. You can see that on the right, I have locations, dates and other things that weren't present on the left and once i tab over to order details you can see that i now have a list of line items that are associated with this purchase order as well and not only can i view these but i can also leave notes on them such as for this one here and that will be updated in the erp after I approve or reject the purchase order. Moving on, if I move to the Notes and Media tab, you can see that I've downloaded a text attachment with this purchase order as well. Which brings me to my next point, as this obviously isn't in English, the app is also multilingual. If I want to switch to Spanish or French, I can simply tap on the hamburger icon to the top left, go into the settings, and you can see everything switches languages instantaneously. And once I want to switch back, I can simply switch back to English and everything is exactly the way it was before. Now, I've reviewed everything I want to with this particular purchase order. I'm ready to take action on it. If I want to reject it, I'd simply tap reject at the top right. And as you can see, it's required that I leave a note to reject this purchase order. Whereas with approvals, I don't have to. If I want to reject this purchase order, I would just type my note here. And just as easily as I logged in, I can tap on reject and my job is done. The purchase order is rejected and after that's finished, it will remove it from my list here on the left shortly and the app will then display the remainder of the purchase orders that I can review. Also, the app supports multiple order types. If I wanted to, I could easily switch to requisitions by simply tapping on the button here that says purchase orders and switching to requisitions. The requisitions will load in and the app will behave in the identical way that it did when the purchase orders were here. And once I'm done, I simply log out and I'm finished here. This concludes the mobile approvals app demo. Learn more about the mobile approvals app on smartbridge.com.